CV 2020-11901 is really four vulnerabilities that got lumped into the same CV. As I hinted at earlier, we covered the same CV in heap buffer overflow, but pertaining to uh, the same block of code, but observing a different incorrect behavior. This write-up concerns what is known in the reference section as vulnerability number two. This pertains to the parsing of compressed DNS packets. DNS packets have a formatting for hostname strings that breaks them into labels that are prefixed by a label length byte. Multiple labels are separated by a period. The total hostname string is considered complete when a zero is found for a label length. The DNS spec states that the max label length should be 63 bytes and the hostname length should be 255 bytes. Pay attention to words of power and words of destruction here, decompress. The Trek TCP IP stack is the affected software stack with regards to DNS parsing and is claimed to be wildly used by a bunch of vendors such as ABB, Eaton, Dell, Aruba Networks, etc. A quick reminder on the DNS header, there is an ID field, a bunch of flags, the number of records in the questions entries, the number of records the number of records in the answer section, the number of name server resource records, and the number of additional resource, resource records in the additional section. The, the DNS query itself is made up of the Q name, Q type, and Q class. In this case, the DNS formatting handles hostname labels such that the very first character of the very first byte Prefixing the label is the label length as discussed earlier. So for this example, slack.com is prefixed with the number five before S-L-A-C-K, if I remember how to spell. And the, the number three is prefixed before C-O-M. Finally, the host name is said to be complete because we have observed a zero label length byte. The record name is then followed by the Q type and Q class. Now we get to walk through an example of domain name encoding. Consider that we want to encode www.example.com. www begins with the number three because that label length is three for www. Then followed by seven because example is a string with seven characters. And then finally three for COM and then terminating the null byte. What is compression? Well, assuming you wanted to represent foo.example.com and www.example.com, DNS formatting supports a uh, compression feature that basically allows you to just specify the, the different label and use a compression pointer, in this case, these two bytes to refer to a prior existing label name. Keep in mind that the at any point you might be looking at an actual label length byte or you could be looking at a compression byte a compression pointer a label length byte is just one byte and a compression pointer contains two bytes how can you identify this well the fact the higher two bits of the of the byte observed if it's one one then that means that if it's if it's set then that means that you're currently observing a compression pointer, and then you should consider reviewing the, re the other octet. However, if these values are not set, then you're, you're looking at a traditional label length. This is why the maximum label size is 63 bytes, because the first two, the first two bits of the eight byte octet are reserved. So we see an, an example here, what the the higher two bits are set and that shows us that this is a compression a compression the first byte of a compression pointer and in this case the higher two bits are not set so this should be interpreted as a label length and of course since there are only six bits to be set the maximum length of the label is 63. so let's look at an example we can see now that all of these are compression pointers, right? Because first, if we saw, if you remember earlier in our DNS header, we saw that zero, zero 09 was the 
an count, right? And if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we observe that there was actually a compression applied to the to, to the rest of the records, all referring back to Slack.com. Let's see what that actually looks like. Zero C bytes from the start of the header brings us to the first character of the label length, which is five. And then we can see that all the rest of the pointers basically point to that label length. Followed by Q type, so, sorry, followed by type, class, time to leave, data length, and the actual data. All right, now that we are up to speed with our DNS knowledge, Take a moment to take a look at the code, pay attention to the highlighted variables because these could be, these are potentially attacker controlled. And finally, pay attention to the others function TF DNS ex, expand label length, which attempts to determine the length of the host name with all the labels combined. Take a moment and we'll, back, we'll be back shortly. <laughs> 